Oh, hi there. You've just caught me in my art room. What am I doing? <laughs> Today, I am doing another thrift store makeover. I always get so hyped to do these videos. I don't know what it is about them, but I just love them so much. So much. I have created some of my most special darlings in thrift store makeovers. Darling, darling, darling. So many darlings. I don't know if this is gonna be another darling. Maybe I'll just make this and forget about it. That's a good attitude to have before you start a project. This is one that I've had for a really long time. I cannot even remember buying it. Maybe somebody gave this to me. I really can't remember. No idea. It looks to be a little like art caddy thing, which is really adorable but extremely impractical for me. A 20th of my paint would fit in here like you know however it is kind of cute and it would be fun to paint and I don't know maybe I can use it for display to create a little art vibe in here. There's not enough color and artness in here. We need more. It's quite boring and that's what I love to see. Boring means potential if you're an object. If you're a person it just means you might not have that many friends. <laughs> It's fine, either way. We're gonna see quite the transformation because it's gonna go from this very plain object to whatever it's gonna turn out to be. I have an idea of what to do with this, but I also can't quite visualize it and that's always a bad sign. I'm gonna go for it anyway. Let's get started on this makeover. All right, so we got our little art caddy. You can see here, it's got a handle and it's uh, wooden. There are various nooks and crannies, some uh, some, uh, some, uh, some screws in it. I don't know what else it is. What, what, do, you, what do you want from me? Bringing it to the operating table, we've got the main component apartment here and then these little holes along the side so you can you know do that and then <gasps> what my brush what yeah there's layers of dried paint on there that's normal also notice this random hole why, why are, are you, you here? here you see all the other holes are all together and you're just a lonely hole can we stop talking about holes now yeah i brought in my own paint to test this out so let's see just yep okay and what these don't even all fit <laughs> this is a whole lot of hoopla for just six tubes of paint storage well, whatever. What I don't like is how all my crusty paint brushes are gonna cover my magnificent tubes of paint. That is just so ugly. But I think I have a solution for this. So bringing out some clay, I'm gonna smooth some clay over the holes. We are covering them up. They are getting deleted. deleted. I wanna make it like they never happen. Bye. Bye bye. We don't like you anymore. See you never again. And yes, that means you too, lonely hole. Nobody liked you anyway. I thought this part was gonna be so wicked quick, but I was shocked by just how long I sat there trying to get this all smoothed out. I'm always shocked by how long things take me. At this point, it would probably be more shocking to not be shocked. So I guess either way, I'm destined to just be shocked. Next, I grabbed a hunk and I'm going to kind of flatten this out. And I was going to use some aluminum foil to stuff in here and save on clay. But then I realized we're out of aluminum foil. So I cried and I thought, well, hey, wipe your tears. It's okay. Aluminum foil ain't special. Let's just use some else. So I tried some wax paper, just stuff that in there, and yeah, that's working. Wait, it's squishy. Nope, I don't like squishy. Well, <laughs> Okay, so no, you dumb fool. How could you think that that was gonna work? Next, I tried a styrofoam ball, which was way too big. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Finally, I found this little styrofoam thing. Styrofoam de hinkies. I saved this from a clay kit that I tested literally five years ago. And um, look, I'm using it now, which is so great, you know? It's not hoarding if you use the thing eventually. That's not true. On one side of this carrier, I am forming what looks to be a large hump, but that large hump is actually a head. The head of who? Well, I'll tell you in a second. Okay, fine. I'll tell you now. It's Pickle. It's Pickle. Wait a second. Did everyone just cheer just now? Uh, because I don't think I heard anyone cheer. He demands applause. Thank you. It's much better. I've added one of his little spines here and made it look like his head is kind of just popping out of the side of this. Now that his head is done, I'm gonna start popping some other spines along the handlebar. This was a big debate for me because initially I thought, I'll just put a couple on here so that I can still use it and fully wrap my hand around the handlebar normally. So I put three on there, but then I felt like that big gap just looked weird. So no, we're doing spines all the way across. I can still hold it. I'm just, you know, have to hold a few 
few spines. No big deal. Then on the back, I'm sculpting Pickle's little behind his little dino tail. That's a little pointy. Eee. This was going fine until for some reason, the whole thing kept just wanting to come off. Like it's not sticking. Why is there suddenly a large air pocket under his butt? I don't know. This is not okay. I went ahead and just rubbed some water onto the wood and got the clay all wet and gooey. And then suddenly it's fixed. It's, it's stuck on there perfectly. Once I got that all nice and smooth down, I stuck a little spine on there. And here we have the pickle from head to toe or butt from head to butt. And let's shift gears for just a quick sec and dive into the world of Dragon City. In Dragon City, you can create your own dragon empire by collecting, hatching, and evolving over a thousand unique dragons. But I thought I had a lot of characters. Why don't I have a thousand? We got work to do. This includes my special dragons. Yes, they're about me. They're adorable and I love them, but keep an eye out for these babies because the only way you can get them is through special offers. For those of you who love a challenge, the epic player versus player battles are waiting for you. Tackle challenging quests and events, engage with other players, trade dragons, form alliances. The adventure never ends and there's just new stuff to discover every day. Download Dragon City using the link in the description or scan the QR code that's on my face. As a bonus, you'll receive a free special starter pack with 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, 10 gems, and play with my dragons. Thank you to Dragon City for sponsoring this video and let's get back to the art. Back to pickle and paint caddy form. Next, I'm gonna roll out some clay, thin but not too thin, and I'm gonna create some little splotches and then kind of form them around that thick edge of the paint caddy. Now you may be getting all smart here and thinking, oh, clearly these are pickles little splooches. Maybe you even use the right word. Splooches. Actually, no, I was going for paint splatter. I wanted to make it look like it's a paint caddy covered in paint, you know, cause it's paint and it's a paint, paint caddy. caddy. But I wanted it to be really super thick paint and look kind of cartoony. Like I wanted it to look like designed, not actual accidental paint splatter. But um, I'm not sure that it's reading paint splotches. Um, it definitely looks like pickles splooches have gone rogue. But um, let's just pretend. Pretend with me. Join me in my delusional world of imagination. I let the clay dry and came back a couple days later to a much more pink environment. Remember, it was purple. Now it's pink. Okay. Okay. And then boom, it's gesso. I'm going to apply this over the entire thing, which involved a lot of nooks and crannies. I definitely got familiar with nooks and crannies. Sometime later, bing. <laughs> That's not funny. I should stop trying to make my own sounds. Anyway, sparkling white. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Finally, it's time for the color. And of course I'm using none other than the color pickle. I'm gonna basically cover this entire thing in pickle green, which was a lot of green paint. Technically, I guess I didn't have to paint over the splooches. Sorry, the paint splatters. Even I don't know what they are, but it would have just taken longer to paint around them, I think. Wait, would it have? Did I need to do that? Do I even know how, how to paint? Where am I? Who am I? What did I do? After two coats of the green, aha, it's completely green, except for the spines, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Now I get to bring in the rainbow of colors. Sorry, let me get these in proper order. Line up, everyone. Y'all know your place. You know better than this. <gasps> Wait a second. What have I done? No, it's the wrong order. What have you done? Really in with the drama. I'm gonna just boop, 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 boop. Yay. Cute. Uh, This is when I realized I can't use the pickle green on top of the pickle green. So I took that out and mixed it into a new green, which will double serve as the paint green, not this paint, but this paint and the green of spines. And finally, I'm gonna start painting on the paint. I would make a joke about painting paint, but at, uh, at this point, it's actually pretty commonplace for me to be doing this. <laughs> Yeah, happens a lot. It's just not even weird anymore. I was hoping that adding in all the color would make it look more like paint, but um, they still look pickle spluchy. But I mean, hey, we can just go with it and act like I did that on purpose. Okay, this is my concept. These various rainbow colored shapes serve to resemble both the splotchiness of paint and the spluchiness of pickle spots. The duality. <laughs> of these splotchy splooches elevates in the conceptual stuff. 
And that is my official artist statement, word for word. Thank you. Now, before I go back and touch all of that up, yes, I know it's a mess. I'm coming back to it. I'm gonna paint in the spines. And oh yeah, it's starting to come together now. You are looking more and more like pickle every moment, my boy. I don't mean to cry. You just you remind me so much of your father. <laughs> Because the paint caddy is themed after Pickle, who is, in this case, the father. What the heck is she talking about? Finally, working on touch-ups, making sure all the edges are looking nice and crispy. Once that was all cleaned up, I added some extra little paint splatters on the spines and on Pickle himself. I thought it might reinforce the paintliness of it. Of course, also adding all the little spine spots. Gotta get those. And lastly, Pickle's little face. Oh, he's just so cute. How can four dots be so cute? Then, as a final touch, I'm taking my white Posca and adding some little white highlights to the paint to really juicy it up and hopefully convince you that this is, in fact, paint. Once that's dry, I took some matte varnish and I'm gonna apply that over the entire thing. And then, taking the finish a step further, I'm using some gloss varnish to accent just the paint spots. I've recently been kind of using a combination of the two different finishes on my pieces. I've always kind of just picked one or the other. Don't know why it took me me so long to realize I can use both. Here is the final before and after. I mean, clearly it's got a lot more color and personality to it. I mean, I, I freaking love this. Okay. It's so cute. I'm so happy to display this in my art room. Oh, here comes my paint. Let's get him in the right order this time. All right, everyone scooch in there. Pretty snug fit. Sorry, Bumble Bear. Why does this seem even smaller than before? Oh, ah, well. They're in their new home and they're happy. Nobody touch it. It's for visual use only. I hope you guys enjoyed this thrift store makeover. If you haven't caught up on my other thrift store makeover videos, I do have a full playlist of a bunch of them. And hi, this is new. I'm back with my face to close the video. Thank you for watching. And before I go, I just want to say thanks again to Dragon City for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to download Dragon City using the link in the description to get your free starter pack. I had so much fun in this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next Friday. Bye.